Hello, my name is Martin and today I would like to present to you three lessons by Gary Vinogrand. Gary Vinogrand was an American photographer from New York, active in 60s and 70s. Photographic curator and historian John Sharkovsky called Vinogrand the central photographer of his generation. Gary was one of the greatest social and documentary photographers of all time. He would be called street photographer today and already was in 70s, but he hated this term. When asked this question, he responded that he made a book about animals, so we should call him zoo photographer, and he laughed. His photographs are truly unconventional in terms of composition, rule of thirds and all of that. He was well known for his tilted horizon. When in one of the interviews someone mentioned it, he said that Horizon was almost never the line of reference for his composition. That's why his photos breathe differently. Free lessons by Gary Winogrand. Shoot a lot. Photography is like an exercise. You can read thousand books about it, but to master something, it's only accessible by doing it. And by doing it, I mean a lot. Someone once said that the best to learn something is by your own mistake. Why I made it one of the lessons by Gary? Well, many called him first digital photographer. Now our photography consists of digital camera, SD card and instant photograph in our computer. We are not limited in that matter. We can shoot one, two, three hundred or even thousand photos in one day. Gary, on the other hand, shot this much but with a film. It's believed that his archive consists of 5 million photographs and there is still 500,000 photographs undeveloped on film, which he never saw, on top of that. Let's just make it clear, it's not a random shooting of everything. Every photo can show you what you can or shouldn't do. So go out there and shoot, shoot, shoot. Be curious. I don't have anything to say in any picture. My only interest in photography is to see what something looks like as a photograph. I have no preconceptions. Gary Vinogrand. He was a big advocate of shooting for the moment, for the life. He wanted to see. He wanted to go out and observe life happening right in front of him. His famous quote, all things are photographable, says it all. Gary never said, oh, I don't do this, it's not my style, or I don't shoot this kind of work. He in his life photographed for magazines, for his own books, even tried his way in the movie entertainment industry, just because he was curious. Don't limit yourself, find that curiosity deep within yourself. As Gary said, I have burning desire to see what things look like photographed by me. Do it for yourself, but don't attach yourself to pictures. What I truly love about Gary is his rough style, in speech, in his approach, but on the street, it disappears. As he said, when I photograph, I don't think about picture, I photograph the life. It's as close to stop existing as I possibly can. We could say it was like some kind of meditation to him. He was taking photography as a drug. He needed it for feeling alive. He was even moving to places of his interest. He was living in New York and when he felt like he wanted to photograph Los Angeles or Texas, he moved there and all his life followed. In your life you will meet many people who don't care about photography or even don't care about your pictures. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. It's very flattering when someone appreciates your hard work. But do you personally appreciate and enjoy your own work? Frame in terms of what you want to have in a picture, not about making a nice picture that anybody can do. Gary Winogrand Archive your photograph Something we can learn from Gary and make our life easier. In one of the interviews he mentioned that he's all over the place with his archive. He said that his way of archiving is very clumsy and his archive is very messy. Even though it's important to be organized in your photography archive, he didn't care as much. But he knew it was crucial for creating any kind of work afterwards. With good filing system you can be on top of your things. You can slowly add to your existing project and create story or a book. Just don't worry, do it one at a time. Every time you come back from shooting, group them by keywords, by places or whatever works for you. Just don't make it messy.
I hope this video has inspired you and that you will keep an eye on these free lessons. I will try to add some more links in the description below about some interviews or videos about Gary Vinogrand so you can continue inspiration because he has so much more to offer. If you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you like, subscribe and uh, we will see each other in the next video. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day.